Little boy, could you come and talk to me? I thought I heard something. Here, doggy. I'm not here to invade your territory. <gasps> Are you around me right now? I feel like he's watching me right, right there. I suddenly feel really unwelcome here. <gasps> what? Oh my god! It is currently nighttime at the Ferguson Cemetery, and I am about to investigate this place alone. This place is said to be pretty haunted. I am the Midwest Ghost Hunter, and I do this stuff all the time. I investigate places all across the Midwest that are said to be haunted, big and small. If you enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment your thoughts on any strange things that go on in this video. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. It's a little more spooky than some of the other cemeteries I've been to so far. At the Ferguson Cemetery, there lies the gravesite of a young boy secluded from the rest. Visitors who have come to this cemetery often report a feeling of being watched that seems to increase the closer they get to the said grave. There are also sightings of menacing black phantom dogs congregating around his tombstone. It is said if you approach the dogs, they will disperse into the tree line. The ghost of the little boy himself has also been seen in the cemetery, often glaring with dark intent. If you approach too close to his apparition, he will dart away and quickly vanish. Possibly the strangest report is that if you count the central grove of trees before visiting the boy's grave, you'll count a different number afterwards. Walking into the cemetery. Hello? Is anybody here? Like, normally I get spooked a little bit at first. Like, I feel like I'm being watched. And I felt that earlier, too, when I was filming here. Camera angles. I felt like I was being watched. And I swear to God, at one point, at the corner of my eye, I saw this dark mass walk by one of the trees. And it was low to the ground. <laughs> and, well, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but they say that there's hounds here that are black. And uh, that was my first thought. So the first urban legend I'm going to try out is the grove of trees. I'm going to count them and then I'm going to make my way over to the boy's grave. And then eventually I'm going to come back, count the trees again, and see if the number changes like uh, the legend says. Alright, so we got one, two trees. There's one right there. That's three. I believe I saw this one over here. Four. Now it's said in the middle, so it's not the surrounding ones. Thank God. God damn, I'll be like a hundred. I counted four. So let's see if that number changes. All right, I'm gonna have this camera filming the tree line here because if any of those dogs decide to run through the trees when I approach that grave, I want to catch that. And you'll also probably catch me running my happy ass out of here. Because damn, that would be terrifying. Something about dogs, man. Ghost dogs. Little boy. I'm not sure what your name is, but could you come and talk to me? Hello? Is anybody over here? Got a K2 meter. Gonna see if he will mess around with this thing at all. If you are here, could you touch this green light? It won't hurt you. It's like, it's like a toy, basically. It'll light up if you touch it. It's pretty neat. I see that people bring you a lot of gifts. See, you've got a lot of coins, rocks and stuff. Do you like it when people bring you stuff? 
Well, I got you something right here. That's a teddy bear. You like it? Here you go. I set it there for you. If you like that teddy bear, could you move it? Could you move its arm? Just to keep in mind that the wind is blowing and that is what's causing that to move right there. A bow on him. I'll put this K2 meter next to him too. Whoops, I almost knocked him over. You don't have to be shy. I just like to be friends with ya. Would you like to be friends? I thought I heard something. It was like a whew. Did you just make a sound? What I thought sounded like a high-pitched breath was actually the whisper of a child saying, I was unaware of this occurrence. If this was the ghostly boy, it seems he does not want me in his cemetery. Alright, so it was four trees last time. Let's see if the number of trees has changed. We got one, two, three. Wait, where's that one? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I almost thought there wasn't it wasn't there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Recording now. What? Whoa! Dude! Holy shit! What was that? Dude, that was like a whimper! Hello? Who's down there? Dude, there's nobody down there. Oh my god. Holy moly. I gotta go over there. <laughs> and I don't know if I want to. Dude, like, what is this actual dog? That's what it sounded like. It sounded like something running. Running down that tree line. And that whimper too. That sounded like, like a mutt. I didn't think I was going to hear that. I thought that was just going to be a, another one of those debunkable urban legends. Here puppy. I'm not here to invade your territory. Listen to me, I'm trying to reason with a dog. It's a freaking dog. Oh my god. Oh, that was a bird. Oh my god. Oh, let's just stay calm. Let's just stay calm. Here, doggy. Here, doggy. Or boy, or whoever. And of course, there's nothing over here. I don't know if that is more terrifying or less terrifying. Eerily enough, this whimpering sounds much like a dog in distress. Could this be the sounds of one of the phantom hounds that are said to run along this very tree line? Are you unhappy? From what I've heard, people seem to, when people see you, you seem to look angry or upset. Why is that? Are you upset that your grave is unmarked and that it appears to have suffered vandalism? I'm very sorry. Is there anything I could do to help? I can't tell because, you know, obviously I'm outside and it isn't necessarily warm out here, but I feel 
much colder suddenly. Like my hands are cold. My face is cold. Are you around me right now? It's gone. What? It's like, it just suddenly got warm again. Like my face feels fine. I feel like I feel you moving around. <gasps> what? Oh my God. That was right back here. That was from, from behind me. Holy. Do you want me to leave? I suddenly feel really unwelcome here. I am shook by what sounds like a little boy's voice saying, There is no reason for a child's voice to be heard from anywhere, for I was completely alone in this cemetery. Whatever the hell that voice was, it literally sounded like a child. Oh my god, I've got chills down my freaking spine right now. Are you still over there? Between these two trees, you can see this strange face-like anomaly peering out. Its height is rather short, much like a young child. In the photo taken after it, you can see that the face has completely vanished. All three of these captures line up with the description of the ghostly boy, leading me to believe more and more in this urban legend. What happens next would shock me even more. I feel like he's watching me right, right there. Right, that, right in that spot. And quell any doubt I had left about this cemetery's haunting. Whoa, what? My camera just died. Whoa! To the side of my camera, you can see the teddy bear being tipped over by something unseen. I unfortunately did not fully capture it moving. However, I took this occurrence as a final message to leave. I don't think he likes it. I don't know if I like that. Oh my god. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I just don't want to wear up my welcome, really. It's not because I'm scared, really, but... I mean, that was pretty scary, but that was so freaking cool. All right, I'm done for the night. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope to see you on the next investigation.